Greetings, Earthlings. I am Zothar, and I am the leader of the Parahords. And if you know what's good for you, you'll pay close attention to what D-Man's got to show you. Meanwhile, huh? Okay, he's coming. You're lucky. I'll let you go this time. I won't be so nice next time. Ha ha ha. Okay. Doodles. What's up, everybody? I'm going to show you guys how to tie the single strand Matthew Walker knot. So, I'm using a lacing needle slash fid slash weapon. Okay, it's kind of pointy. Rubber bands that I had to tie in half because they were too big. And uh, I didn't want double or triple bands around my manual to, you know, make more of a mess on it. So, you want to kind of keep it clean. This is a knot that requires a lot of patience and practice. Now, the idea when you're tying it is to keep it tight when you do your bites going up and down because the more tighter you get it the less you have to tighten the slack up all right the less you'll, the less slack you have to pull out of it because it is a you know tedious process and also you want to make sure you do as many bites as you need for what you want to cover this is about a two inch cardboard manual here we're going to use of course i would recommend starting a little bit skinnier with this than this one here with lesser bites so you don't have more to tighten up and more you know to get in the way Okay, so let's get started. All right, bear with me. It's going to be a little. Uh, my hands are going to get in the way here, and I'll try to you know, talk through it best I can. All right, so we're going to pull this up here. Just leave a little bit there. I'm using about four, about five feet of cord here. So start here. You can wrap halfway around, and then you can go up through the rubber band or come back down. And I'm going to come back down like this. Alright, so hold your rubber band in place so it kind of keeps the distance on there and I am keeping a little bit of distance for the rubber band's sake here so that I can show you guys you know, as best I can on how to tie this. Alright, make it kind of tight but make sure you try to keep your rubber band separate so you can definitely start out uh, understanding this tie first instead of it scrunching on you, okay? So, start it here, and back when just half turn around, and then we'll come back down. Now, when you come back down, you're gonna come down over your starting cord, and every pass on the bottom will be over, okay? So, that's gonna go over your starting cord like that. So, we're gonna run this up through here. Make sure your studding cord stays underneath. All right, tighten it up, and just make sure your second pass is over your studding cord. All right, and you're going to repeat the same process all the way around for as many turns as you want. This one here is going to go up under the cord, so. The top passes go under, the bottom ones go over. Alright, and you want to keep this cord always to the left of this cord, and so on and so on, okay? So, for this demonstration, I'm probably not as do as many bites as I normally would for something like this, just to kind of keep the demo short here. You guys get the idea on this, right? So, you're going to keep on the same pattern, make sure this cord stays to the left, going over the two cords now. All right, that's gonna go up to the left. Like I said, the tightening process is really, I'm sorry, the uh, Tying process is easy. It's the tightening process that gets everybody. All right. Again, make sure you go over. Stay to the left of this cord here and go under. So top always goes under the cords. And 
and you would keep repeating this till you basically get what you're trying to do covered all the way around. All right. Again, you can do uh, lesser bites, more bites on it. You basically got to play with it and experiment. This is definitely a knot that it requires a lot of experiment. You know, I'm kind of new to tying it myself, and uh, it's fun not to tie it though. It can be frustrating, but it's fun. Again, over. Make sure all these go over because what happens is a lot of times when people tighten these up, when people tighten this knot up, they have a tendency to, you know, have this cord run into two bites instead of the next bite over only. Okay, and that's where you made a mistake. All right, and I'll show you that here. Again, you're just going to repeat this process all the way around to as many as you want. Being sure that this cord on the bottom goes over all those bites. All right, bring this back. Kind of keep your bites kind of close to each other. It'll help out in the process. And you can see it to start to form right now. And it's a good idea to kind of keep the rubber bands separated. Keep a little bit of distance between them. It'll help out in the strut and tightening process later on. Under all the ones on the top. You guys get the point on this one, right? Kind of keep the bites next to each other. And when you're tightening it up, you got to make sure each core stays in its own path, its own lane, I say. All right? That's the trick. This one goes over. And you keep going until it's full, but then the more, of course, passes you have, the wider your knot will be. And of course, the more tedious it is to tighten up. All right. Again, make sure it goes over. See how each one goes over each one. The, the most recent one goes over the next one, the previous one. All right. Again, up under, and keep doing this all the way around. All right. And what you can do is basically stop when you get to, uh, you know, when you don't have any more of a gap. Again, depending on what size you're trying to cover, you know, for a small bead, you won't need as much. Get out of there. And see, uh, see how this one kind of curls down a little bit? Push it up. See how it's that, one, that one right there? And just use your uh, lacing needle to push it up. All right, we're going to stop here, and then we're going to continue with part two with the tightening process. All right, let's do one more here. And we'll just go ahead and go to the tightening process. You guys can see how that's done. All right. Again, over the last one, over all of them. All right, just take your time. Most knots make them look real pretty. Do take some time. It takes practice. All right. Obviously, you know you got to go past under to the last bite, which is right here. So make sure you do not cross any cord that you shouldn't beneath. And again, make sure it crosses over. Sometimes these have a tendency to jump off the own track that it should be on. See how that... See that? And the same with the top ones. Alright. So, we'll stop right there. Yeah, as long as you have the same pattern as this, the tightening process will be the same. You will be cutting your rubber bands off, so hopefully you didn't use really, really, you know, precious rubber bands all right because they will be need to be cut off Not until you learn how to tie this and then you can do it in your fingers or whatever all right we'll stop right there